hard to imagine that members of my family have died in the Second World War fighting a nation that chose to imprison men, women and children with impunity. They would turn in their graves. I am a proud Australian. I love my country. And I consider it my duty to stand up, not to whinge and bitch about it, but to stand up and say so if I really care for the country. And that's what we're doing here today, isn't it? You know, I, I not only uh, uh, went to the War Museum, but the second place we went was we went to pay our respects to the elders at the uh, um, tribal, uh, the Aboriginal Embassy outside of the Old Parliament House, just over there also. Because I wanted to ask them something. Did anyone ever ask you what your thoughts were about the position of refugees and whether or not you want them here or not. And so I asked the elders. And we sat and we talked for three hours last night. And at the end of it, with their permission, I was asked to pass on this. Firstly, they think the treatment of those people in offshore detention is appalling. They think the suffering is appalling and they asked me to convey that they would welcome them here. No one had ever asked them. They would welcome them here. And they've said, if you can get them fellas, we'll issue passports for them. Because they've got passports. And not only that, a number of members of the, uh, the Origini community in Adelaide have actually travelled in Europe on those passports. They were recognised, stamped with stamps from German uh, embassies and Italian embassy, uh, sorry, Italian uh, consulates, etc. So they've said they welcome the refugees here. Um, my wife, Cinzia, none of this happens without her. She has had to put up with me being absent and to hold everything down, and I want to thank her. I want to acknowledge uh, my children, Darcy and Ned, and I want to acknowledge my sisters, Jenny and Leah, who, uh, who have both been incredible support, and my mum, Sylvia, who's also been amazing in her support. Over there in the white hat, acting shy, is my brother Carl, who's also come to join us. Uh, and uh, I thank them all. I observe that uh, Ned and I have had the, the enjoyable time of it all, going on a walk and a wander, but Chins is the one been holding down the, the fort at home, and so I thank her from the bottom of my heart. <laughs>